So hi everyone, welcome to Supercomputing 2023. As part of this show, part of our travel and lodging has been sponsored by Supermicro, and I'm here at their booth to tell you about some of their amazing systems. Now, this isn't gonna be your standard sponsor spot. They've got some really interesting stuff. We're talking Grace Grace, Grace Hopper. And in this video, we're gonna focus on their high density liquid cooling solution. We're talking six kilowatts almost, cooled with liquid. So what I'm standing beside is Supermicro's big boy 48U rack. Inside, they've got all the stuff they're promoting here at the show. So at the top, you've got switches, you've got storage focused, and uh, then a few of these things. What I want to point out to you, what we're going to focus on is this system here. This is their 4U liquid-cooled high-density AI, HPC, machine learning. Basically, if you've got a high-performance uh, OEM or SXM module, this is designed to go in here. Now, what they've got in here right now is NVIDIA. NVIDIA H100s, the SXM 80 gig models. Uh, we just saw the launch of the H200, so maybe that might be coming soon. So what we have on the top, now you've got to deal with the cooling in some way. So there's only space for eight drives compared to some of these others here that have many, many more. Um, but then you have hot and cold pipes, and these are also color-coded. And the point here is you've got eight GPUs in this system. When you've got a high-performance AI workload, and there are so many companies who want to start training their own models or do fine-tuning, they're buying these in their masses. Now, why go the liquid-cooled route? Well, right now with data centers, we're hitting both uh, floor space limitations and power limitations. So you need something that's dense to satisfy both of those scenarios. If you've got a data center that has liquid cooling as an option, it also saves a little bit on uh, you know, the HVAC system, a little bit though. What we're seeing here is this move towards high density systems. Put it in a rack. There is literally a company over there claiming to cool 85 kilowatts in a rack. Maybe we'll do a video on that. So, of course, there are options in 1U and 2U. Um, that's more for like 2 or maybe 4 uh, GPUs. You do need a full 4U for the 8 GPUs um, just because they put out, you know, four, five, six hundred watts a piece. So you get eight of those plus a couple of CPUs in there, plus a ton of memory and perhaps some additional networking. Yeah, you're looking at almost up to 6,000 watts per 4U. Now that, that seems crazy insane for power density, but when you're in that sort of limitation, that's what happens. So also, as we get closer to higher powered uh, AI accelerators. I mean, right now we're talking four, five, six hundred watts. I've spoken to people on the show for floor for eight hundred for a thousand. You're going to need liquid cooling for that. So we're seeing a trend for data centers move in that direction. Also, what identity helps with is the cost of the data center. I've been speaking to a couple of companies here who are looking to deploy literally megawatts of compute, and you have to go to a data center provider and say, hey, how much for X amount of racks or X amount of power? And the more you do that, the more it costs literally in the millions. So one way to bring those costs down is to opt for a denser compute option, reduce your number of racks by half. So the air cooling option is actually down here. So we do have the full 8U. This is a, uh, you know, a standard form factor size. You've got the top 4U where you've uh, got your AI accelerators, your NVIDIA GPUs in this case. Um, massive you know, vent to push all the air through. You've got additional fans here to help cooling with a system because in this bottom 4U, that's where you've got your control compute. So you can have any number of CPUs in here. What the added space does give you in an 8U that you don't get in the 4U dense version is this ability to have lots of I.O. So we're talking about hot swap NVMe, but then also you know, additional networking and then connectivity at the back. In the 4U, that's a pretty dense option, but in the 8U, uh, you do get that level of flexibility. Now, some data centers obviously don't have liquid cooling, um, or they may be power at the rack limited. When that is an option, when that is, is the case, and you are renting a whole rack and you have to go up to the power limits, then in the air-cooled option, it has fewer things to go wrong, but it is less dense. Um, and obviously scalability as we get up to you know, the 1,000 plus watt accelerators, they may be going towards liquid cooling. I mean, lots of data centers are going to liquid cooling these days for that option. But they've actually got one of these over there open that we can take a look at, so let's go over there. 
So again, this is the air-cooled version, and Supermicro are very famous for their uh, SKU numbers. So this is the AS8125GS TNHR8U with the NVIDIA HDX H100 GPUs. So eight of these uh, bad boys in here. Now, this is a sizable beast, obviously. Uh, one thing I don't see often quoted is uh, how much these things weigh. Fully loaded, we're talking about 100 kilos or 220 odd pounds. Um, but we can actually take these open. They let us open them yesterday at least. So on the top, you've got your NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, these go all the way back, obviously. Massive heat sinks. So yeah, let's see if I can push it in properly because last time I was here, I almost broke the damn thing. Um, but here we have on the top and then obviously the CPUs and stuff at the bottom, and these are, these are pretty flexible. They'll do any CPU you like. Um, Supermicro makes this system eminently flexible, but on the top, oh, let me see if I don't break this. Uh, I've, I do have the master of dropping things right behind me, as you can see. So here we have the HDX100, which is actually in the system. Um, yeah, obviously the air-cooled version. This thing is damned heavy. I don't advise you pick it up, um, just because the heat sinks are massive. And this PCB goes to, you know, 32 plus layers. Um, what's my minimum specification here? Well, this thing needs to be cooled, and people are buying these hand over fist. I mean, love nor money, you can't get one of these. However, Supermicro is selling them, and they've got a couple of systems for your options.